Hello everyone, this is Eric Long, your general manager, and we are located at the River Club, and I'd like to give you some updates regarding our River Club project. We are in the front entry of the uh, River Club, and there's a lot of progress that ha have been made in the last uh, couple weeks, so I would like to show you. Uh, the last video Keith and I did not too long ago, there's definitely some progress since then, and I'd like to show you what's going on. Uh, so we are in the entry. Uh, again, this is the uh, hostess stand. Uh, we're going to have a uh, beautiful focal wall on here with a nice logo and a reception desk up in the front. Uh, this area here is going to be some windows and then we'll have a door uh, located here so you can exit and enter into the um, outdoor dining space. And then the front door, we're be being replaced um, and we're probably going to have that done in the next, uh, I'd say, six weeks. But let me take you into the other spaces as we speak. So we are located in the south dining room. Uh, this used to be where the bar was located. Uh, they started painting the ceiling above here. Uh, this is just a primer paint. Uh, but you can see um, this wall here uh, is going to be a new uh, picture frame uh, window. Uh, there will be a nice uh, block wall up about uh, four feet and then a picture frame window, window above uh, so you'll get nice views of the preserve area. Uh, we do have some beams that have to go above there, some steel beams, um, but definitely a really uh, neat uh, feature here is just kind of looking out into the pool and then to the nice uh, preserve area. Uh, we do have uh, some beautiful um, pieces of uh, furniture going to be in this area. There is a banquette that goes along this section here and then over here on this wall this is a focal wall that will feature a uh, frame TV that will be a picture frame so when we're not playing sports or entertainment we'll have um, obviously uh, a nice uh, picture view of uh, different items uh, but this area is uh, just a really uh, neat experience. Behind here uh, if you look back here This will be the uh, service station. So a lot of the uh, outdoor dining and the south dining and the patio area, uh, this will be where we have coffee, tea, and uh, Coke and Sprite and all the different uh, soft beverages. Uh, ice uh, water station here as well. Uh, that's just right behind the scenes. Uh, but let me take you into the bar area now. So they've completed uh, most of the drywall around the bar area and uh, we'll start framing up uh, a lot of the bar area within the next uh, few weeks. Um, but uh, let me show you into the east and west dining room space. So all the drywall has been completed in this space. Uh, we do have a banquette that uh, will go all the way around the perimeter of this room. Uh, obviously tables in the middle. We do have some spiral duct work that's going to go here in the center here. Uh, there will be some TVs. Uh, one's located uh, over here and then another one over on this side as well. Um, you can kind of see over here. Uh, the only difference really in this space is we did close off a couple of the sections here to make this more of an intimate dining experience. Obviously the bar is going to be the happening spot as far as uh, liveliness. This will be a little bit more secluded to be able to have more of an intimate dining experience. Let's go over to the other space. Okay, so we're in the other side of the dining room. Uh, they are still doing some of the audio visual, uh, still working on some of the uh, drywall. Um, and then we also have the private dining space over here. All the drywall is done in here. Uh, in this room, what's going to be nice is there's going to be uh, a uh, kind of built-in cabinetry over here, uh, which will have a TV as well. Uh, so even for uh, you know even a private dining experience or even just a small meeting room space, this is a great uh, intimate area to be able to handle any of those type of items. Let me take you into the uh, kitchen area. So we're located in the kitchen. Uh, you can see that the drywall is up. They're gonna start putting the tile back in this location. We are replacing some of the uh, gas piping as we speak. 
uh, but we're really making progress. Let me take you outside, show you what's going on out there. Okay, so we're located in the uh, outdoor dining space here. You can see that the steel uh, is up and uh, they are doing some of the fine tuning as we speak. Uh, you can see uh, it's really a beautiful structure. Um, obviously, this is just the bones of it. Uh, we'll show you the rendering and what it's supposed to look like uh, towards the end. But in the front here, that's where you have some of the planter beds. And then we have the pergola structures in between these structures. That's where the fire pits are located. And then the outdoor dining component. Um, this area here will be all pavers. And then obviously this area here is the composite wood. So a nice transition between the two folks. Uh, but it's really uh, just a beautiful, uh, serene experience. Uh, we will have the uh, pool area closed uh, the rest of the month of October. And then we will have it open back up in uh, November, probably for a few weeks. And then we'll probably have some closures in December as well, because we are replacing the pool deck pavers, uh, which will take at least two and a half weeks. Um, we are putting some of the uh, new umbrellas onto the pool deck, getting that all ready. So that will be done this month. So we have that completed before the, uh, before the uh, end of October. Uh, again, we'll have this open most likely in November for a few weeks, and especially during uh, Thanksgiving week. And we'll have the uh, food truck available during that Thanksgiving week. I also just wanted to mention we are painting the exterior of the building. So it's the same color of the uh, fitness and wellness center. So the base color is a uh, jogging path, Sherwin-Williams, and then the trim pieces are uh, oyster white. So it's gonna be a beautiful uh, look and obviously it will mirror what the fitness and wellness center is today. Thank you. So we're located at the boat shuttle dock. Uh, a lot of the items have been completed in this area. All the composite wood has been replaced. And then also we have um, some fine tuning that still needs to be done with regards to some of the lighting, uh, but uh, it's starting to look really great around here. And here are some images of what it looks like, but uh, we're really starting to look good around here and hopefully we can get the uh, boat shuttle up and running. Uh, plan right now is uh, November that we start back uh, the boat shuttle service. That's all pending the uh, final permit from Lover's Key. But uh, looking forward to this amenity opening back up and uh, stay tuned for more.